What's good, y'all? What's going on? It's Corner Sports Net now. Deion Sanders has some blood clots removed. He's in the hospital. Here's a picture of him with his mother. Arm said his mother is everything. His mother worked a bunch of jobs to raise him. The mom was one of the reasons for his success. Like most children, especially young boys and they and a mom, that relationship is so tight. They just got a, naturally, they just got a strong relationship. A strong bond that can't be broken. Now, I said Prime would not take too long after surgery before he got back on social media. So I'm glad he's going to be all right. Glad he's going to get back on the sidelines and be coaching Colorado. We all know Deion Sanders loves social media and attention. We know that. All right, now, other news, Les Miles, former coach of LSU, uh, all his wins from 2012 to 2015 are vacated. Of course, the Joker was cheating. When I say cheating, he was paying a player's father money. He was brown paper bagging. Now, only reason he got caught, because somebody had to run their mouth. Now, those 37 games from 2012 to 2015, mostly wins, they got to be vacated. But Al Alexander, he received $180,000. Him and his pop is living large. But for them to get caught, somebody had to talk. Somebody had to talk. Now, in today's game, in 2023, players could get paid from sponsors, from collectives. You're not going to see in 2023 football coaches really get suspended for giving players money. Them days is pretty much over. If you're a top recruit now, you're going to get some kind of NIL deal. You're going to get some kind of money from somewhere, some company, and you're going to live good. Now, Les Miles, he's, he resurfaced at Kansas. That didn't last long once they found out how he was getting down to LSU. A bunch of inappropriate behavior with the opposite sex. But he walked away with a lot of money from his buyout at LSU. Les Miles is straight. He hasn't coached since 2021. I'm reading about he might not be eligible or have enough wins to make the Hall of Fame. But it's funny. He lies, he cheats, he gets a big payout for millions and millions of dollars. Gets another job at Kansas, gets paid millions and millions of dollars, and they fire him. So he won at the end of the day. He won. I mean, yeah, they vacated some wins, and he's looked at, he's looked at as a, a crook, a cheat, but he still won. Now, the Hall of Fame is important probably to Les Miles, but is it really that important? Joker is paid in full. And he might get another head coaching job in another year or two. You, you never know. When it comes to college athletics at the highest level, if you go win football games, sometimes you get three, four, five opportunities. Regardless, regardless of your shady background. It's just how it is. Now, in other sports news, my Philadelphia 76ers had no draft picks. So, Dow Morby, the Sixers GM, Vice President of Basketball Operations, along with Elton Brand, uh, they're attempting to trade Tobias Harris. So they called the Cleveland Cavaliers up. And they're asking for Evan Mobley, Jared Allen, and a first round draft pick. Dow Morey must be drunk on some kind of drugs. Nobody in their mother's gonna give that much up for Tobias Harris. Now Tobias Harris' father's like, my son is an assassin on the court. No, you're not. no he's not. He's a solid NBA player who comes up short in the playoffs. I know he's the fourth option on the Philadelphia 76ers, but if we can trade Tobias Harris, I'm cool with that. Now the Jazz, they're interested in Tobias Harris. So eventually he's going to be traded, and like I said, I'm here for it. I'm happy. He comes up small too much for the money he makes. Not knocking the money, but we can do better than Tobias Harris. Now the big three is on. It's uh, opening day. 
I said, I'm going to do better supporting Ice Cube's Big Three League and the XFL. So I'm going to talk to you guys later. It's Corner Sports Net. Do not forget to leave comments. Yo, let's go. Let's get it. What's good, y'all? What's going on? It's Corner Sports Net. Now that the NBA draft is completed, now teams are sign, signing players um, on two-way deals. You play part of the season in the G League, and you might play part of the season on the NBA roster. Now, the first player to win a Naismith Award and not get drafted is Oscar Sheway from Kentucky. Now, he was Naismith Player of the Year. Now, you would think a player averaging 17 points, 14 rebounds, in three years at Kentucky would get drafted. Won a bunch of awards at Kentucky. He was dominant at Kentucky. But the problem with Oscar, he's an old school big man. He's 6'9", but he can't shoot the jumper. He can't play in the perimeter. He don't got no ball skills. He can't handle the ball like these small forwards and guards today. Now in the NBA, they want guys that 6'9", that can play shooting guard. That got handles like Kyrie Irving. I'm serious. They want guys 6'9 that can play point guard. The NBA is not like it used to be. They don't even care about what you do in the paint. They don't even care if you got footwork if you 6'9 and 7 feet tall. The game is played out on the perimeter. So Oscar, he's a throwback big man like a Charles Oakley. He's going to rebound. He's going to block shots. He's going to set picks. He's an enforcer. That ga His game is outdated. So now he's going to try to make the NBA and the Pacers. And if he doesn't, he'll be in the G League. And if that don't work out, then he'll, be, he'll go overseas somewhere. He'll make a living playing basketball. Very good basketball player. But his game is outdated. If this was 1989... Or 1999, he'd have been a first-round pick. But since it's 2023, and you got seven-footers handling the ball, and being two guards, and being small forwards, and they eliminated any kind of physical contact in the paint in the NBA, he might not be good enough for the NBA. Now, he was smart, though. He came back for his senior season. He didn't try to go pro after his junior season. He signed a big NIL deal, so financially he's cool. And like I said, if it don't work out, he'll go overseas because basketball is a global sport. Now, in other NBA draft news, Connecticut's Jordan Hawkins, sharpshooter from Connecticut, you know, UConn did won the national title. Uh, Jordan Hawkins got drafted by the New Orleans Pelicans. And what's crazy about this, his cousin is Angel Reese, who plays at LSU. And I believe, what, that's about, a, about an hour apart? Well, now you got cousins playing an hour apart. You got cousins, they national champions. LSU won the national title in the women's game. And UConn, UConn won the national title in the men's game. And they cousins and they in the same they in the same state. I'm sure them cookouts is gonna be they're gonna be off the hook.